heard the warning from experts that this year will continue to pass last year's records. A system to spot and map wildfires across California is expanding thanks to a grant from the governor. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron shows us how the new technology will help firefighters respond before a wildfire gets too big and out of control. Images like these are often the first view first responders get of a wildfire. Plumes of smoke in the distance captured by a statewide system of cameras called Alert Wildfire. Really just having so many cameras covering our area really gives us a, a good vantage point. The program began in 2017 with a few dozen cameras. Now there are more than 850, including 37 in San Diego County. But cameras only do so much. In extreme climate, we need all of our assets. Dr. Neil Driscoll, the head of Alert Wildfire at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, says the program is ready for phase two, adding more technology to the cameras, giving more information to firefighters. So we can use this for future fires and try to understand better where to pre-position our assets and what technology and gaps need to be filled. $15 million in state funding will pay for three major upgrades. New sensors will measure fuel and moisture levels. New infrared cameras will help define the fire perimeter through smoky conditions or rough terrain. And new airborne imaging of high fire threat regions will let first responders understand the lay of the land before a fire starts. We like to fight fires in the incipient phase because every fire starts small. And once they get too explosive, we go from offense to defense and we use these data these actionable real-time data to inform decisions. Cal Fire officials say the new technology will be a huge benefit as wildfires become more common, more unpredictable, and more destructive. Things are changing rapidly and having that technology component allows us to be able to adapt rapidly to get that message out there quicker. This new technology can also monitor air and water quality during a wildfire. It can even help after the fire ends by keeping an eye on burn scars to see how plants regrow, how the ground erodes, and how the fire changed the environment. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Very interesting stuff, and the cameras and all the data that they collect are open to the public for free. We put a link on our website, 10news.com.